What's up everyone, we're back for another episode of Code Geass. Right now, I just don't know what the hell is gonna happen. Lelouch basically got all of his followers and dipped out of the country. So does that mean that from here on out, things are gonna be more peaceful? Is he no longer going to be fighting and going at war against Britannia? That would be a positive outcome since it means less people are gonna die. But who knows what's actually gonna happen? You never know with this anime. So without further ado, let's start watching this episode. Hey, the Black Knights are over it to the Chinese Federation. Wait, what? A weak old man? Oh shit, so it's not looking good over there. Yo, but maybe the Black Knights can change things up, improve the country. Oh wait, they gave him a freaking island, yo, that's pretty cool. Hey, look at that, a freaking island. It's already got like three cities. This place is nice. Yo, they're even getting help from India? They got all these countries helping them out. Ooh, that nightmare looks pretty cool. Wait, what? I was not expecting that. Well, I mean, I guess it's not like their country is doing that well. Holy shit, they were like two centimeters from kissing. Ah, uh, he wants to go back to the old days. <laughs> Wait, she's been there the whole time? Hold up, CC. You like putting Tabasco on your pizza? What's already? Yo, those freaking bastards are arranging a goddamn marriage. Well, shit. I guess good thing that they were gonna try to take over the Chinese. Yes, it's happening right now. Oh shit, they're wasting no time. Whoa. That goddamn bastard, Schneisel. Oh wait, he came here with Nina. So no one in the school knows what the hell happened to her? Why is everyone talking shit? Just cause she's young? Oh, they already know their plan. Sadly, rules don't care about what's right or wrong. Oh, shit. I guess because she's royalty, they just protect her a lot. She just wanted to have a normal life, and she's out here in an arranged marriage with some guy who looks like 20 years older than her. Oh shit, even they're gonna be here at the party. And he's just gonna walk in? Well, this party just got a whole lot more interesting. Yeah, and she doesn't seem crazy anymore. Oh, hold up. Listen, we know you really like her, but that doesn't mean everyone else compared to her is shit. 
Alright, maybe she's still a little bit crazy. Well, chill out! Man, I wonder what Zero has planned. <laughs> Oh my god. Stopping him from using his GS, huh? Yeah, but he doesn't seem to give a shit about that. What's going on here? A game of chess? What does he mean by have? <laughs> Oh, this man wants to go crazy. <laughs> well, so far, the only time we've seen Lelouch lose is when his mind is being read. <laughs> and I don't think Snigel can do that. Wait, what? So he was never able to beat him eight years ago? Oh, he's already asking for a draw? Oh, he doesn't want it! Oh, he's not taking the king. So he's just using this to learn more about him? Alright, well, that bitch is still crazy. Any hope I had for her being normal is out the window. Oh, get this bitch out of here. <laughs> A crazy racist bitch, huh? I mean, I guess that's kind of true. <laughs> Are we pulling out the threats? <laughs> oh, shit! I mean, this is here to protect her. We know that they knew each other for a long time, and she saved his life. So he's just trying to repay the favor. Yo, I respect this man, but is he gonna be able to make it out alive? Look at all the people he's fighting. Ah, she does remember. Oh shit, zero has her. Oh crap! This episode is a huge shit show. Is that Jeremiah? Properly adjusted, they're still doing modifications to him? Did they find his body all messed up in the ocean and save him? So you're telling me that even after that attack that CC did at the end of season one, Jeremiah is still alive. I guess he does look like he's half robot, so maybe they just need a part of him to survive and they can build him back up and repair him. Just like a robot, because apparently he's back and he's probably going to be way stronger than the last time we saw him. And this episode, I mean, it was just a whole political shit show in arranged marriage, but Lee 
didn't want that to happen because he really cares about the bride and knows that she doesn't want this. Then Zero appeared out of nowhere and took her. I mean, I thought that since the Black Knights left and basically started their own little nation on that island, that everything was going to be more peaceful. But no, it looks like things just got more complicated. I'm very curious to see what's going to happen in the next episode. So I'll see you there and I hope you guys stick around.